I've been getting a lot of questions lately about Tower Gardens lights. The lights that they sell that clip onto their Tower Garden, they're proprietary, they're only for use on Tower Garden, Flex, or home units, and they extend out. They're really cool, they're very sleek, they look really great on the home unit, or the Bronx machine, for example. But the questions I've been getting are more related to light color, because I talk a lot on this channel about the differences between vegetative plants, or plants you're gonna eat the leaves from, and fruiting plants, plants that you're gonna eat the fruit from, flum, blah, blah, blah. plants that you're gonna eat the fruits from. Because when it comes to the lighting and the nutrients and just management in general, everything really changes when your plant goes into the fruiting stage. And this is really why Tower Garden as a company and honestly, all companies that sell these kind of prefab hydroponic kits always aim to get their customers to just grow leafy greens because they're much easier, frankly. So what I'm trying to get at here is Tower Garden's lights are designed really for leafy greens, which they do a really, really great job of growing leafy greens. So if you never really plan on taking your Tower Garden to the next level, so to speak, and growing tomatoes and fruiting plants on it, then you'll probably be just fine with the Tower Garden lights. If you're like a lot of people that watch this channel, which is why I've been receiving a lot more comments about it, you do want to take your tower garden to the next level. You do want to grow fruiting plants on it. Maybe you only have one or two tower gardens and you want to make them garden towers and allow them to just grow everything. There actually is a lot you have to know there and it starts with lighting. First off, the tower garden lights are high quality, full spectrum LEDs. That means that they are going to deliver the entire PAR spectrum, the photosynthetically active radiation. Watch this video if you need to that your plants are gonna to need to activate photosynthesis. And this particular wavelength is pretty close to a daylight wavelength, which would be really, really great for your vegetative plants. This is gonna give you a nice, tight, compact root system with a more bushy growth up top. And that's because the lights lean a little more towards blue than they do red. Now, being that these are full spectrum, they're still gonna contain all of the wavelengths that your plant needs. It's just that Tower Garden has leaned more towards what your plants need for vegetative growth. If you do want to grow fruiting plants, though, you're going to realize a lot of limitations with these lights. Your plants might not even all fruit. Some plants might actually realize that the intensity or the PPFD is not high enough and they won't fruit. What you really need for fruiting plants is an introduction of a lot more light, a lot more intensity, a lot more par, and we need to introduce a lot more red light. So here are a few options for you. Option A, you're just growing leafy greens and lettuce and you like the way the tower garden lights look. You don't mind spending the extra money because they look really cool in your house. You can just get those and be fine. Option B, you can have the tower garden lights for when your plants are in vegetative stage and then pick up some of these. I actually literally have them sitting right next to me here. These full spectrum Barina lights have actually done me a lot of good. I've had several indoor grows with these lights and they fill out that flowering stage just right. And if you use these alongside of the tower garden lights, then you'll be leaning much closer to a fully optimized grow. Or there's the third option. Don't buy the tower garden lights at all. Instead, get these daylight white Barina full spectrum lights for just $100 for six of them. And then also pick up these warmer color tone, the ones I just mentioned, six of these for another hundred dollars and mount them around your tower garden even on either on the wall by hanging them by making these light stands i have a video for right here or you can use the tower garden cage and mount them to the cage this might seem like an insane amount of light but frankly that's why tower garden doesn't want to really push people towards growing fruiting plants is because they know just how much light it takes to grow fruiting plants. You will need this much light if you want to grow tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, things that are fruiting and things that you're going to eat the fruit from, not just leafy greens. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out all the free guides I have at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. And until the next video, let's grow together.